Alexey Rybakov from IT Systems, and today I would like to share with you my workflow development experience. And yes, it's a painful a bit. It's quite hard to fit it at Lightning Talk, but I'll show you. Uh, here's a list of steps uh, to create a workflow. Uh, I'm going to go through this list and uh, point out the problems one might encounter during the development. Uh, for some of these problems, I have work workarounds. For others, I don't. Um, you will see that there is a lot of things that may be significantly improved. And please don't treat this talk as a hate speech, even if it sounds so. Okay, let's move to the first step. And it's activity designer. For some reason, sometimes, acti activity designer uh, turns your pixel perfect process diagram into a mess. And you have to edit XML manually if you want to make it look the way you want it to be. And the next step is the task model creation. I've created a Python script called aconfgen that generates model using, this, uh, using a process diagram as an input. And here's the example of how it works. Uh, it's the snippet of generation task model. Uh, you can see that it's not a template-based generation. It's a context-dependent one. So here is the list constraint for transition outcomes. After that, you can gener generate a uh, localization for your model using the same script. It supports properties, associations, list constraints, and so on. So actually, there is no need to create localization manually. Uh, the next step is the share config creation. Using the same script, we, cre we create skeleton for share config and the localization. Here is a snippet of share config generated uh, for each property and association defined in model. You can see a field, field section. And after that, uh, we can generate a localization skeleton using the config we generated before. It's pretty simple and doesn't support inherited properties yet. Now let's let's move on to the next step. It's the Java code. Uh, at this moment, uh, we have process that does nothing uh, since we didn't create any code. And here comes the pain because foundation APIs are too basic. Uh, you have to use activity APIs directly if you need to create something complex. So you actually have to look at source code if you need to know how to create something complex. And let me show you an example. Here's the test listener that may be found on almost every activity tutorial. Please put up your hands. Who knows how to make this listener run on every task in every process without copy paste? Okay, there's the solution. Pretty easy, right? But the point is that you will find no real example in the internet. The point is that this is the kind of questions that should be covered in cookbooks. Uh, I do not use JavaScript to create workflows. I usually use Java code because it's much easier to debug. So there is a lot of code like this in our projects. And you know, if uh, your, your project is big, it's quite hard to create such constants. It's boring. So I'm going to create a Maven plugin that generates it automatically at compiled time. So you don't need to create it manually. And the last step, it's a deploy. At the moment, there are two recommended ways of running Alfresco during development, uh, either using SDK or using pre-installed Alfresco instance. But what we definitely need is the official Docker support. I mean, official developer-friendly Docker image that allows easy installations of artifacts built by uh, SDK. And I have some groundwork, and I would be glad to share it if someone interested. Uh, let me sum the things up. There is a list of things that cannot be done without vendor help. Alfresco should definitely pay some attention to Activity Designer because of glitchy and full of bangs. Uh, activity integration should be revised. I have no time to go into details, but there definitely should be a way to configure Activity uh, without overriding system bins. And the Workflow API should provide access to low-level routines without dirty magic. 
As for me, I'm going to rewrite my Python script, uh, create a Maven plugin, improve it a bit, uh, configure auto builds for my Docker images to keep them out of date, and your contributions are welcome. Yeah, thank you for your attention.